The equipment used during installation should be put on a protective cloth to avoid any harm to kitchen and the furniture. Safety glasses and gloves should be used during drilling, cutting and other processes. Ceiling type hoods can be installed only to suspended ceilings. There should be a space proper for the installation sizes of the product on the suspended ceiling. You can access the measurement details in the production catalogue or on our website. The hood is only proper when there is a flue usage. There should be 15 cm scaled ventilation holes inside and exit of the ceiling. Air conduit pipe should be furnished. There should be an outlet and fuse that are specifically assigned to the device and they should be in an area that can be easily reached by the user. Grid circuit should be 220 volt and have ground connection. Suspended ceilings are not strong enough to carry hoods. Because of that, to make it immobilized, there should be a steel construction fastened up to the concrete wall. The product is going to be fastened up to that steel construction. Please do not install or use the product if there is any damage on the package and follow company procedures. Make sure the product is working before installation. Place the construction over the product and from the inside of the product. Make the markings through the immobilizing holes. Drill holes on the construction and mark points. Install the construction to the concrete wall by looking at the installation hole's directions. There are flue exit holes closed with sheet metal plates at the top and sides of the product for the flue connection. Designate the direction proper for installation and activate the flue exit that is looking at that direction. Plug the feeding cable in. Attach the flue exit pipe to the product and make the aluminium pipe connection. Place the product inside the construction and immobilize it through the holes you designated before. Designate a proper place for the external motor cabin installation. Mark the wall using the external motor's hanger sheet metal and drill holes on marked points. Put the dowels in and screw the screws, but leave 5mm space between the head of the screws and the wall. Install the hanger sheet metal on the unit and screw the screws. Install the external motor to the wall from the hanger sheet metals and immobilize it. External motor should be put inside a closed area. Otherwise, it can be open to damages. Put the flue plastic to the external motor. Connect the aluminium pipes to the designated flue entrance and exit of the external motor. Product's exit is scaled 20 cm and entrance is scaled 15 cm. There are two exits on the motor, so you can connect two products on the external motor. Plug the feeding cable of the external motor to the product socket. Clean the extractor surface of the device with a proper cleaner. Inform the user about the details of using the device and cleaning techniques. Check the hood's functions, volume level and balance to see if it is working properly. 
Put the waste after the installation into the garbage bag and leave the bag out of the door. <laughs>